In this video, we're going to continue on talking about the Unity Hub, but also creating your very first project. When creating a project, there's several things you need to take into consideration. One of which, probably in my opinion, the most important is where are you going to store and save your project? So before we begin, this is something you need to think about. For example, on my home computer here, I actually have two hard drives. So what I did was on the second hard drive, I made a folder called Unity Projects. Anytime that I save a Unity project, the folder will be stored there. So for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to make a folder on the desktop here, just so you can see the process and what happens. If you only have a single hard drive, I'd suggest maybe making a, a folder called Unity Projects in your Documents folder, perhaps. That could be a good spot. But for demonstration's sake, I'm going to go ahead and say New Folder, and I'm going to call this Unity Projects Demo. So anytime that I make a brand new Unity project, what I want to do is store it in the Unity Project folder that I created. So now in the Unity Hub, a couple things make sure that you've done. The first is, is up in the left-hand corner. Notice that I have signed in and it's showing that my account is linked into the Unity Hub. If you haven't done this already, go ahead and sign into the Unity Hub. Again, in the previous videos, I've already gone through and installed my LTS version of the editor. So now, I can come back to the projects link and let's make a new project. Now here you actually have a whole new environment here as far as what you can choose between. For this demonstration, I'm going to pick a 2D game. Now, a couple of things to draw your attention to is, yes, up at the top bar here, if you have enough space, it's not uncommon for developers, or if you're testing one of the new game engine versions, that you actually have multiple versions of the editor that you're working with. Unity Hub has made it easier now to flip between the different, edit uh, different game engines. However, for right now, you should just leave this as is. The only other thing I'd like to point out is along the side here, you do have some sample games as far as scenes are concerned, but also, if you want to work with their website as far as learning elements, you have the learning games that you can download and it will automatically make a project for you. But let's go back to all templates and choose 2D Core. Over on the right hand side here, it's going to talk about what type of project you're making, but if you scroll down, you'll see project settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to maybe like 2D demo game. And now the location comes into play. Because of my previous settings, it's going to that Unity Projects folder on my D drive. For this demonstration though, I'm gonna click on the folder and I'm gonna to navigate to desktop and choose that Unity Projects demo folder. And I'll say select folder. And now you can see that's popping up there. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it create the project. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because once the project is created, I'm going to minimize Unity and I want to show you what this actually looks like once you've generated a project in Unity. So that way you can see why that main folder is so important. So once your project loads, you're going to see the main interface of Unity, which we'll discuss in another lesson here. However, I want to keep this a little bit minimized here so that I can come back to this desktop folder here where I stored Unity project and I want to show you what happened. So when I double click, what has actually happened is everything required for this specific game that I'm now seeing in the Unity interface is now generated in this folder here. There are specific assets and uh, background elements that occur to make the game functional out of the gate. Having said that, this folder is extremely important. This isn't like a program such as Photoshop or Illustrator where you may only be working with one file. Instead, you are working with an entire folder structure here. So to make sure that everything functions correctly, if you were to move this from a different computer, you will need to make sure that you zip up or copy and paste the entire folder. So to reemphasize, I've made a folder to hold 
my Unity projects, but every time in the Unity Hub, when I create, say to create a brand new project, it's making a new project folder that is separate from other projects within the overall Unity project container folder. This can help with organization, and this also helps as far as keeping everything separated.